wasn't told that at all. Right. Not a single Today we will continue to analyze the dumbest criminal situations of Karens who put themselves in handcuffs by confronting the police. We will bring you four situations recorded by police cameras. On June 30th, 2023, an emotional situation unfolded involving Alicia Orell, a 34-year-old mother caught in a custody battle. The video opens with the police notifying Alicia that they needed to take her children away owing to demands from both of their dads. Listen, sit down and talk, okay? I'm telling you to sit down and talk right now. Dude, you're, yeah, and you're telling me you're taking the, my kids, but you don't even know their dad's okay. name. Maybe I misspoke on the father's name of the caller, but both fathers, I spoke both of them. Why would you call the dads of my children? They called us. That's why we're here. They called us. I have, yeah, and my lawyer Where said that I get them until the date that is on my phone. Okay. My lawyer said I get them until the date that's on my phone. They can't just come and get them. I need, that's like... That's like, a, isn't that like a civil matter? I have... That's between you and the court. Okay? Yeah, I have kids. I Stop have yelling. Kids. Stop yelling Dude, right now. Coming? You don't even know the name of the children. Stop yelling right yeah. now. Sit down. Sit down and talk. No. You're scaring the children. You're scaring my children. You're scoring me That's coming here telling me you're going to take my kids and you don't even know the name of the dad. Police know the man, seen here with Alicia, is allegedly behind the initial reports. Let's see what he has to say. Ted? Do you know why we're here? You can speak up too, sir. Because I'm pretty sure you know why we're here. My lawyer. That's fine. But we're going to take the kids no, you're not. Yes, we are. No, you're not. Kids, you guys have life jackets? Can you grab your life jackets? We'll you get, get this jackets? straightened out when we get back to the house, okay? You're we're okay. going to the house. It's okay. You're okay. okay. Alicia tried to contact her lawyer, arguing for custody of her children until a specific date mentioned in her phone. I'm in the middle of a late night on a house, and they show up on a boat telling me they're taking the kids, and at first they didn't even know the names of their dad, or who the dad is. I misspoke. I apologize. I know that, but you're in charge of Dominic's too. So I have a writing on how long I'm supposed to get him. If he can just call the cops or cops or show up or something. Well, but you're my lawyer. I have a writing on how long I get that. But you told me if I have a writing for a time. Lisa, You're stop swearing. You don't have to worry. You guys don't have to worry. Don't be scared. We'll get it straightened out. You are. Both of the dads are I understand, honey. But your dad wants you to come back. Okay. No. It's okay. Oh, well, they're going to come with us now, and then no, you can... they're not yes. going with you now. No, okay. Not. Alicia, if you obstruct and resist us, we're going to place you in handcuffs for your children. You don't want that. Okay? You don't want that. Alicia, you're going to go in handcuffs. Please, please. I don't want to. No, Mommy, I don't want to come do on, that, guys. Mommy. It's okay. You guys can come across. Come on, guys. We're not going to do that. Alicia, okay? Hang on one second. We're not going to do that. You got shoes and stuff, bud? Yeah, I'm going to step right down here. I can hold your hand here. I'll step right down towards me. There you go. All right. I'm sorry, buddy. Can you grab that blue life jacket? Maybe you should... Right. know what the f okay. you're gonna say before the f you come here right. come in here saying the wrong name of the f dad yeah, you sorry. piece of f cop sorry i misspoke alicia yeah come on and i'll help the other one put that orange one on here okay you need anything else or you got her no, we're just, okay sweet okay. i'm going back to the house what house the house where you guys are staying to get their belongings we're going to this landing over here where we launch this is all stuff today to them. Yeah. Okay. Are they not coming up here? I don't get to see them again. They're not here right now, no. 
So you guys, wait, no. You guys are just coming to get their stuff? Like, yep. I thought Greg was coming up here and I would get to say goodbye to my kids. Here's the deal, ma'am. If you wouldn't have acted the way you did on the boat, we would have put that position. Obviously not if you're not letting me say goodbye. Ma'am, if you wouldn't have acted that way on the boat, we would have let you, we would have brought him here, we would have done whatever we needed to. So, can we get the booster seat out of your truck? What? Can we get the booster seat out of the truck? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, is, is there anything else left in there? I'm not coming in, I just, if there's anything else that she wants to bring out, or otherwise we'll get out of here. There's no way she can say goodbye to them. They're not coming here. It's... I don't think so. If if that's if the dads are okay with it, that's fine. But yeah, right now, fine. yeah, All I can right. I can at least grab the seat quick. It should be unlocked. Okay. All right. All right. I'll, I'll come back in just a minute and kind of see what's going on. Right. You gotta get out of here, man. Yeah, she's gotta go. She's destroying my house. I'm down two TVs and a bunch. Destroying your house. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this broken glass in the bedroom. What she has a lot of bad shoes on. Has she hit you? Yeah. When when does she hit you? Uh, yesterday morning, the yesterday rocks morning? in the driveway. She was throwing rocks at you? Uh, no, she was using them as brass knuckles. Oh. rocks. Okay. You've been there. Mm -hmm. I'd really not get involved in it this time, man, so be ready, boys. She's gotta go. Come on, we're not trying to take her anywhere, we just... Um, but if there's a problem here, we can't leave you with it either. Yeah, I can't. It's... Does she have somewhere she can go? She, one no. of these vehicles hers? Yes, but she won't leave. She won't. So you want her out? Yes. We can get her out here for you. If, if that's what you want, we can have her removed. But then she's going to come back and she's starting to kill all my family at least a dozen times. Yeah. It sounds like you need a restraining order to start with. Yeah, I know. Well, she uses, she uses that to beg to have the kids taken away from you. And the only thing that she could do is get them into Mike's and Greg's hands. Your mom. Like, what are you guys doing in here? We were just here to hey, get some of the um, stuff. Dad, right now, Ted is probably trying to tell me I'm not stable in the house, and there's two cops at the door, so they're probably getting ready to take me. That is not what's going on. Then I need you guys to go. That's that's not how this is going to go. As the officers attempt to discuss civilly Alicia's frustration mounts, prompting her to shout and be belligerent. Go where? Like your parents said. No. Yes. I want to talk to Ted privately. No, you're done there, Louise. Mom, Dad, stop. I don't care, Dad. I'm not. I'm. I'm saying something. I want to talk to Ted privately. Gonna help, Dad, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the officer. Right, that's but, not going to happen. Why? Because. Because of what you just did. That's not going to happen. Because I. Because I scurried away and got back from him. You were kicking. The dog was in my face. Okay. You're not talking to him privately right now. That's not how it's going to go. I need you guys to come up here, Dad, and help me. I have a lot of stuff. Well, okay. we got to come up with a solution for what's going on right yeah. now. Yeah. Right? Well, right now I'm talking to my dad. Okay, but we can't stand here all night, so okay, we got to come up so. with a solution now. Okay. Okay. So you guys are going to stand here while I grab everything that's mine? Well, I'm going to give you a couple options. Okay. I'm sure Ted is nice enough to make arrangements so you can get the rest of your stuff. You get what you need for tonight, and you go, or you're going to have to go with us because you can't stay here. What were my options? I said you can gather up the stuff you need for tonight, and you can go, and Ted will make arrangements to get the rest of your stuff Why to you. Why can't Ted and I go through everything together and you guys just... Stand there. Because we don't have all night to do that. You're going to have to make other arrangements if you have that much stuff. So your options are you get what you need and go, or we're going to take you. And I don't want to take you. Okay? I would rather just do this peacefully. As she gathers her belongings, a dispute over drugs takes place. Get 
Am I allowed to take any of the weed or no? There is none. Well, you're not allowed to possess it, so no. Well, here, come on, I'll show you. I'm not worried is. about it. Get your stuff. No, I'm getting half my weed. You're not taking it with you. Well, if we're, it's well not, actually, technically, it's not mine, though, so. It, it doesn't matter whose it is. You can't well, legally possess it. You need well, to miss. I have... Ma'am, I just gave you your options. You get your necessities and leave I on your own. The... I'm trying to buy my. I've lived here for over a year. I'm looking for my stuff. None of your necessities are down here. It's under construction. Okay. Do you think you could bring me some tugs? So I could put my shit in? I don't think you need that much, do you? I think you're supposed to be going for. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Tubs, Ted. We bought tubs. Like, what the f he lit on? Ma'am, you need to stop yelling. Is he retarded or he doesn't understand? This is, we bought ma tubs. We bought tubs. This is your last chance. If you continue to yell and swear, you are going to go into custody. I've had enough. Swearing? Yes, I've had enough. Get your stuff and let's go. I'm getting my stuff. I'm allowed to swear. It's you are not. Speech! This close. Yeah. Get your stuff. I, I got in trouble doing the same shit you do. I mean, I got hurt doing the same shit you do. Get your stuff. I'm let's getting go. my stuff. Quit telling me to do it. Oh, yeah, brought tubs. Oh, Please now you the want tubs. These load the tubs. He don't get in trouble for all the he has, but I get in trouble. That's so funny. That's so typical for guys. Huh. The officer's patience was wearing thin. You're trying my patience. Yeah. Get your stuff and let's I'm, go. Do you not see me getting my I stuff? I told you to get your necessities. And I'm getting my... You see my necessities? That's not necessary. My yeah. medicine? My, my, my stuff from Last. the military? It's enough. <laughs> Put your hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. You're not supposed to punch a law enforcement officer either. I was getting my stuff! What do you have? What do you have so I can let the ambulance know? <laughs> Ma'am, what conditions do you Don't have? Don't even talk to me! Okay. Dad, this is the second time they jump on all over me! <laughs> I was getting my stuff! You. You, I have to let them talk to me the whole time. I'm getting my stuff. Three fifty. Sorry. Can you have an ambulance respond here also? All right. Call. Okay. I keep getting walked on. So. That's your dad right here on the phone. Yeah. Hey, I'll I'll talk to you in a couple minutes, sir. We got to finish this. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll talk to you in a couple minutes. Are you ready? Okay. You want to come grab her then, and I can turn oh, her up. Yeah. All right. Roll her on her left side first. Okay. We gotta get them probes out too. So. Okay. Ready? Right. Roll her on her left side. Okay. okay. Yeah. You ready? see all these bruises on Let's me? Up. That's what you We're guys did up. to me the other day Let's too. That's what you guys did to me the other I day. I wasn't too. here the other day. Yeah. Well, these all these bruises on me is what you guys did to me the other day.
Ultimately, Alicia faces charges of battery on a law enforcement officer and misdemeanor disorderly conduct for domestic abuse. These charges could lead to significant legal repercussions, including potential jail time, further complicating her custodial rights and relationship with her children. On April 4th, 2024, two inebriated ladies disrupted a concert at Ohio State University's Mershon Hall, causing administrators to summon the cops. When police arrived, they discovered the ladies were denied admittance due to safety concerns and their high degree of drunkenness. Despite police efforts to contain the situation, one girl became verbally abusive and refused to leave, exacerbating the disruption. You guys, hey, you're not going to be let into the concert tonight because of you're a little bit too intoxicated. Um because you've had a little bit too much to drink. We Here, have tickets. It doesn't matter. They've already told us they're not going to allow you in regardless of your tickets. Why? Okay? Because you've been drinking Ross, too much. Ross is holding me. Okay. You you're, can hardly yeah. stand up straight, man. You're, you've had a little bit too much to drink. Why? Okay, listen to me so you understand, okay? I know you're upset, and that's all right. You're allowed to be. We've but been waiting here since I know, I know, but you also had a little bit too much to drink. No, we haven't. Okay. Well, I'm they're serious. not going to let you in, so here's my advice to you, okay? Go ahead and head home and find something else to do this evening, okay? We have our tickets. I understand. We, they're not going to honor we've your tickets. We've been even here all night. I understand that. We've been waiting yep. here since one. I know, and it's unfortunate, but they're not going to allow you guys in regardless of your tickets because you're too drunk. You can't You can't be intoxicated and come into the event. Okay. I'm not intoxicated. Yes, yes you I, are. I can smell the alcohol coming from you. Okay. You guys, you guys can choose to stay here or not. That's your choice, but you're not going inside. Okay, so you, my advice to you is just to go ahead and Why don't you test home. us? because I have no reason to test you. They have the ability to not honor your tickets if they don't want you inside. They are saying Why you're too you drunk. I'm not going to test you. Who said this? The organizers of the concert. We Do know you? someone that is Okay, the then you can text them with your complaint friends. tomorrow. Okay, great. Then you can text them with your complaint tomorrow. We Today will. you need to go we home, okay? We need to tonight. Okay. We, we asked them to come I'm going to step away from you guys so you can process what's happening for a second and you need to go home, okay? I know, I know. Yeah. We just told them that you guys were letting For sure, in. for sure. Um, but we do just have this policy, it's a Mershon policy, and obviously we're a student organization. Okay. Is that your decision? Yes. Thank you. That's, what, that's our okay. decision, that's our policy. So you guys are, you two, listen, I understand your situation. Listen to me, please. Please listen to me. I'm not trying to be rude, okay? But let's be very direct with one another. I understand your situation and it's disappointing. Okay? I would be too. The fact is for safety reasons, they have their their policies in place for safety reasons, okay? And you're not welcome in tonight because you're too drunk. So here's what's happening. You guys need to go somewhere else. She is. She is. Why? No, I Because you drank too much. Please listen. It's not because you are too drunk. So please listen. Please listen. Why are you too drunk? Because that's what happens when you drink too much. The situation escalated when she insisted on entering despite numerous warnings from cops. You dropped your phone. Are slurring our Yes. Barely support herself. If you'd like to file a complaint I after the fact, I'm just nervous. It's time to leave. We've been waiting okay? here since two p.m. That's unfortunate. We've been That's here. unfortunate. We it's time to leave. Listen, spot. I'm going to be very direct with you right now. You're not coming inside the building. If you guys try to come inside the building, you're going to jail. Do you understand that? My recommendation is that you leave now. Are you are you understanding what yeah, I'm telling you? I don't know. Then go home. Okay. Okay. Thank you. For, thank you. Oh. Did you guys not understand what we talked about? No, you're not. Well, listen to me. Listen to me. This is not up for debate. You two are not welcome inside. Just drink a bunch of Go home. Go home or go to jail. Those are your two choices. If you try to come inside, you're going to jail. We have talked about this. Are you serious? Yes. We've warned you twice. You're not welcome to come inside. Listen to me. Turn around. Turn around. You 
You've been told twice, you're not welcome inside. This is your third time trying to get in. Listen to me. Stop. 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 Under arrest now. Do you understand? We're here for a friend. Nope, you're going to jail. Turn around. Stop pulling, okay? You look to me. I want to make sure you're tough, though. The girl resisted arrest and a new charge was formally filed. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'll explain to you. Okay? We're going to take your property from you and hold it for safety. When you go to jail, you can't have it in there. We'll go with you and they'll hold it. When you get released, you'll get arrested. What's your first name? What's your first name? I'm not telling you because What's you're not giving me my property. What's your first name? Can you give me my phone? I'm trying to talk to you. You can't. You can't touch that because that's my property. You can't touch Eva. You can't touch. All right, Eva. So listen. So listen. Can you give so me that it's for been a done. Can you just give me that done. for a second? Ow, oh, this is hurting me. I'm trying to You're move. You're hurting Kira. me. Stop. I'm not trying to move. I'm okay. just trying Eva, to free my me. arms. My arms is don't go Eva like that. Is it Kira? Can I just tell you one? What? What? Can I just tell you one? What? I went to a store. I went. I went you and got one. You can't sober up that fast. That's that's really the end of it. Further? What's up? Can you listen further? Sure. You're just being. You're just being searched. That's, I got food. Yeah. I ate my food. I got water. Okay. And I tried to get my. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. So I'm going to use the back of my hand here, okay? I just need to do like under your bra line, okay? Okay. So I want you to understand you that have multiple bottles in your friend doesn't understand that she doesn't. You have alcohol bottles in your bra. You have alcohol bottles in your bra. Okay, remove them. What's that? Okay, throw them away. Because this is going to be very depending on how like things go. I'm going to take your left hand out. I'm holding on to your right hand. If at any point in time you do anything other than reach in and Retrieve your property she's requesting you to. Okay? Wait, wait, wait. Do I give it to her? You're, you're giving it to her. You're just going to hand it to me. You're going to reach in and you're going to hand it to me, okay? What's that? Okay, throw them away. I'm sorry. Do you have anything else? No, nothing else. Nothing else. I swear. I'm sorry. I don't want to. Thank you for cooperating with us. My parents are immigrants. <laughs> So I'm just going to Mirandize you before we talk anymore because you're, you're entitled to your rights, okay? I'm under not, arrest. You were under arrest. We told you it was going to happen. I'm sorry. It's, it's a little hold too late on, for that, Eva. On. Okay? Just hold on. I didn't I'm understand. Let's uh, make sure we separate our right. stuff so we don't confuse it. Okay. Okay. That's one of mine. Eva, do you know what happened to her wallet? She had a red, like a red phone case, right? She doesn't have anything on her. Do you guys want her to Roots? At Roots? At Target? Did she have it at Roots? What's her name? Go ahead. Just for a second. Just for a I know I don't have the right. What, what state do you live in? What state are you from? Just for a second. We can I talk. can't breathe right now, but I just want to say something. I need you to. I need to know what. What, what state are you from? Then we can talk. I'm four. Okay, so this is your. So this is your fake ID. Where's your actual license? I have the right to present my license within a certain time, and it's in my door. Okay. If I was able to get it, I would be friends. Right? Moments later, she suddenly changed her attitude, begging for sympathy and escaping her guilt. However, the officer still proceeded with the arrest, maintaining standard procedure. This first, what is your birthday? 06 08 2004? Yes. I wouldn't go anywhere. I just can't breathe. <laughs> Take a second. Take a second. We'll get your friend. She's okay. See her? She's okay. Yeah, I understand, but okay. 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 You don't understand. This is, if you want to put all her stuff in this bag, this is a fake. I just want you to lean up against here, okay? Take a minute. Lean right here. I can't breathe. Relax. Take a deep breath. Try to calm yourself. Listen to me. Instead of saying that, I want you to take a I know, I know. Take one. You know. With me. I don't want you to hyperventilate. Then you're really not going to feel good, okay? Here's what we're going to do. We're already past, way past.
last so you're point. Gonna let me... We gave you two warnings, right? That's two warnings. But you, didn't you don't put this me... on me. These Wait, are the consequences of Wait, your actions, Eva. Something? What? You didn't see what the repercussions would be. You yes, didn't we say literally what said, happened. if no. you come back, you said you're you going wouldn't to jail. allow me in the concert. Yeah. Well, yeah, that is true. We also did say that, but we said if you come back, you are going to jail. Please, please. So what happened? You came back, and now you're going to jail. Oh, you don't understand. My parents are immigrants. Students. 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 First Students. I don't want to year switch you. I don't want to switch you. Please switch yourself. I don't, yourself. I don't understand. Right. Can, can you just uh, close the door on me? Can What's you that? not close the door on me? What, we, have, ex- we, have to, we have to close the door. Can I explain? What is there to explain? I understand. This is a, this is a crappy situation and your parents are going to be very upset. I hear what you're saying. I hear, uh, no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I do not understand. Okay. So if your parents are so strict, why did you put yourself in this situation, Eva? Because I'm a college student. Okay. Well, unfortunately, that's not a good enough okay. reason. All right. Put me to jail. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Okay. Right, go I'm, I'm sorry. I got out of my handcuffs, so I'm not going to do anything. I'm sorry. It's just, it's claustrophobic. I'm not going to do anything. I live on this campus. I'm not trespassing anywhere. I know this is Mershon Auditorium. I live here. I go this? to class. Why did you do this? I'm sorry. Why did you do this? I apologize. I don't think you understand what's going on. So, so, so you keep saying that you're a college student. Every single one of us, one of us have been to college. Every single one of us here has been to college. I don't think you understand. Listen to me. Listen to me. You say that your parents are strict. Yes. You say that your parents are strict. Okay. So what made you bring come to this point where you think that I'm talking? Okay. You asked me a question. Yeah, and I'm talking. So, these officers told you to stop. They told, these officers told you to stop, and you, and you decided to keep coming back in. Okay. They, they told answer? you the repercussions of what would happen. Can I answer? Wait, but he asked me a question. Can I answer? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. My name is Eva Kubelonsky, and I go to college here. Mm-hmm. My friend is a very big Ross Lynch fan, mm-hmm. and I was just trying to go to the concert with her. We went... We told we were told sure that, that we were the in the right state to go yeah, to the auditorium, mm-hmm. and we understood. We went. We got water. We got food. Real quick, and then you can finish your story. Real, real quick. quick, listen to him. Real quick. Like, listen. That means I need you to look at me. Okay. So look at me. If those come off again. I'm gonna charge you with attempted I'm escape. Sorry, I no, wasn't no. trying to escape, but they just hurt my. my if well, they no. come off again, okay, because you them took off. them off, sorry, sorry. you're gonna get charged with attempted escape. You understand me? I won't take them off. I won't take them off. So do you understand what I I'm understand. telling you? I understand. I understand. All right, sit back in the car. Wait, but you I can, wasn't you can continue. You can continue so talking. Yeah. We have things we have to do. Okay. 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 Can they I come just off again? Just put this up around. I'm just told my story. Go ahead. I'm listening. My parents are first year immigrants from, from where? Kyrgyzstan mm-hmm. and Uzbekistan. Mm-hmm. You probably don't know where that is. Mm-hmm. It's near Russia. Mm-hmm. My parents are very strict. Mm-hmm. My mom. She's very, very strict. I don't want to talk about it. When I was little, I had problems. I follow every rule. I go to classes. I get straight A's. I promise you, so, I went to an all-girls private okay, school. Okay, and, 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 I'm, and I'm sure you did. Well, my thing about it is, what... What made you? I just what, wanted what to see to, a concert. Okay, so, I wasn't trying to do anything bad. Okay. Please, just understand so, that my family would not understand so, if I were to be taken. Ultimately, she faced multiple charges, including resisting arrest, criminal trespass, and disorderly conduct, compounded by the possession of a fake ID. My mom. with my friend. That's I all that was happening. Do you, you really think I was trying to endanger someone? 
No, do you but think I was trying to do something the reason, wrong? The reason why you're here is because you weren't listening. The reason I And then on top here, of that, you're not 21, you had alcohol. I wasn't under... I wasn't told my rights. I wasn't told what would happen if I were to come back. So you don't have I to be, was you not... Have, you no, I know my rights. I so, know my rights. I wasn't told any of my rights. So what I don't you, know a single one. Okay. You weren't told... You didn't tell me my rights at all. What, what do I need to tell you your rights for? Because I'm being arrested right now. I'm in handcuffs. I know you're in you handcuffs. You didn't tell me a single one of my Miranda I rights. I know them. I right. wasn't told that at all. Right. Not a single right was told to me. I I'm in handcuffs I right I now. So you, so you I don't wasn't know, you, told you don't, a single right. Rights. Not at rights. all. You didn't tell me that. Know. I know my rights, but you so, didn't so tell me So what are your rights then? You didn't tell me right, my rights. And you are required to do so. No. Yes. That's not completely right. You're kind of right, but you're not fully right. When you handcuff me... You don't always you, have to be read your Miranda rights. When when you handcuff me... You don't you always have, have to be told to tell your Miranda me rights. My rights. Okay, I'm not going to listen to you anymore. Go ahead and put your feet up. Go ahead and put you your feet up. You have no compassion. I did. I did. No, you so didn't. So go, go ahead and put your feet in. Go ahead and put your feet in. Go ahead and put your feet in. Okay. Thank Did you for my life. On January 2nd, 2024, a tense situation unfolded when a young girl was caught up in a confrontation with the authorities at a dental clinic. She was first asked to leave the premises because the documents she wanted were not readily available. However, she declined, citing her right to remain and collect her paperwork. The situation became so serious that the cops were forced to intervene. Hey, ma'am, ma'am, sit down. I'm not a dog. I'm not sitting down like I'm a dog. I'm okay, not a dog. stay right there. You're not moving anywhere. You're waiting for your documents. Unless you want to leave, then you're going to be trespassed and you'll be arrested during your turn. I want my paperwork. Come sit down. You're not blocking the I'm doorway. I'm not a dog. On January 2nd, 2024, Police responded to a dental office in reference to a woman causing a disturbance. Hi, thank you so much for coming. Hey, yeah, of course. She's over here. Okay. Why can't they just do what they need to freaking do? Why? Okay. All right, what's going on? Oh, so they called the cops. They have the cops here now. The problem is, I was sitting down, okay, waiting to get the documentation before I got the documentation, which was asking for the things that were done here today. They told me, oh, you don't have to pay. You can just leave. It doesn't matter. They told me I didn't have to pay. I could just leave. When I told them I had the money to pay for today and what mm -hmm. happened today. And so so what's the issue? The issue is, is all I want is documents that happened today so that way okay. I can take it and I can get the work okay. done that I need it done. You heard what she said, right? You can get it later. I. But why is it an issue for me to get it? Okay. Okay. Because they don't have an address or a place to send it to. She does need so to write can you give her one? one? Why? They, they already told me I, can, I have to leave. I have to leave the premises right you now. Want, if you want them sent to you, then give them the address. It's very simple. We're, we're going to wait outside and she's going to print it up while we're here. Okay? I thought she just said that they could. Yeah, go wait outside. Just wait outside. Fuck outside. Go wait the fuck outside and she'll print it for you. Yes, Daddy. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, Are you going to wait for the documents or not? Hello? She said it was going to take a few minutes, but the way you were acting, they didn't want to do it while you were here. But now that we're here, they'll do it while we wait outside with you. Okay? I don't... They don't... You know what? If, do you have a job? Thank you, officer. I will wait right here. The officers attempted to mediate, explaining that she could return later to retrieve the documents, but she refused, arguing and demanding instant access to her data. Despite exiting the facility, officers discovered the girl still lingering. You told me to come back in here when everything was done, so that's what I was doing. 
I just told you to wait outside, then you... That's what I was doing outside. I was waiting. Okay. All right, can you just sit, just sit down and we'll get your documents here in a minute. I'll, wait. I'll go for another walk again and wait. Okay, no, no, don't go for a walk. Just stay here. I don't need you walking around everywhere. I need to find where you're at so we can just give you the documents. I'm sure it'll be just another minute. I can come minute. back when the documents are done and I can go for a walk until then. I don't understand why it's a problem for me to just step outside and go for a walk Okay, can you just step outside and just wait there? Because... Once they get the documents, we can just hand it to you. I can't be here all day while you're going you on a walk. You don't have to be here all day. I can come back in a few minutes when the paperwork is done. I don't understand why that's a problem. Yeah. So then if you want to sit here and wait while I go and do what I have to do, fine. I'm no, just... we're not doing this. We're not playing. I'm not playing games with I'm you. I'm not trying to play games. I have an appointment somewhere else that I have to be at. Okay, then do you, do you want to come back later today for the documents? I can come back whenever I need to come back for the paperwork and whenever the paperwork is done. That's not a problem. I don't mind coming back when okay. the paperwork is you done. You had an issue with it earlier today. No, I did not. You did. That's why I was called here, because you I had an issue with it. Issue with I'm not that. playing games with you. I never had an issue coming back to pick up my paperwork, but they told me that I wasn't going to be able to get it for a while. Okay. It appears like the girl overreacted and worsened the matter. This led to her being cautioned about trespassing and the potential of arrest if she did not comply. It's not they. It's a... Why can't I just come back after I finish what I had to finish there, and then I can finish my document, and then I can come and pick up the documentation, and I can call just, you just when I'm done there. Is it ready? Just two more minutes. He's finishing his notebook. That's why I said it would be better if she came back. Right. Or that I prefer no, her no. to come back ever. Okay, so she's gonna be trespassed. Yes. Okay, then, um, so you hear this. Okay, if you leave the property and come back, you'll be arrested. I if you leave right now, you cannot come back. Okay. I just want my paperwork. Okay, wait two minutes and you'll have your paperwork. Okay, do you understand? Right, if you return we'll this that. property, you will be arrested. I don't mind that. I don't care about okay, that. Okay, so you fine. I just want my documentation so I can take it to my new doctor. So okay. So they can do what they need to do Which since they don't want me to hear. Nudie. Okay. So, like I said, you're just gonna have to wait here because if you leave and come back, you're getting arrested. Get out of the doorway. You're not going to be blocking the doorway for all these other customers. I'm not blocking the doorway for anything. The door is open. Anyone can come in here. I'm not blocking anyone. Ma'am, I do not want to go hands-on with you. Can you come sit down right now? I'm not a dog. Who called you a dog? You're telling me to sit down like I'm a dog. Yes, I'm get not out of the door. Okay, fine. Come stand by this wall. Get out of this doorway right now. Why? Because I'm asking for my papers? Yes. Come stand over here. <laughs> the situation gets worse as she continues to block the door, refusing to move, complicating the interaction further, and things come to a head. My Thank partner's gonna come in there. Alright, do you have your ID on you? No, I do not. Alright. Get off the phone. No, I'm calling my mom. Get off the phone. You can't tell me I can't call my mom. I'm opening the doors open wide open. Go outside. That's not an issue. I'm right getting arrested. For what? Why am I being held? Let's go. Okay. Okay. Get up and go outside. I just wanted my paperwork. Why is it a problem? Get up and go outside because you're not listening. Get up and go outside. I'm not listening for what I just. This is business. Okay, and that's fine. Get up and get outside now. Okay, if you do not get up right now, you're going to jail. That's it. No, I'm going outside. I'm going outside. I'm outside. I'm not playing games. I'm outside. Ridiculous. I just wanted my documentation. Then you would have done it if you listened. Okay, she's I going, did. She's I did. Stand up. 
Stand up and get in the car. No, I'm not getting arrested for this. Yes, you are. Get in the car. Why am I getting arrested? Because now you're getting arrested for refusing to move and assaulting a police officer. Get in the car. I didn't assault in the police officer. Get in. No. Commander, you're going to get pulled in if you don't get in the car. I didn't You're going to get teased in one second. Chaotic scene at the dental clinic after the incident. Whew. Welcome back. This is her paperwork. I never want to see the lady again. I don't Perfect. know what I need to do All for right. that trespassing or whatever, but... She already knows she's trespassed. She, she caused an issue, so... Okay. Well, thank you. I apologize. No, it's okay. I've never in my life seen something that crazy, but I guess that's normal for you guys. Is there <laughs> Nothing. I got a little marijuana. She just said it seemed like she went back there to hide something from us. So she has a, a tiny, tiny marijuana, but she has a cod, so. Yeah, don't worry about it. I was on a pull out, and then and the like, lady came running out my door right as oh, you pulled she? out. Yeah, I was like, hey, she's back. And I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, she's in there. I'm like, are you serious? And I was just gonna handle it, but then I start, she started to get a little nah, dusty. Yeah. Like, I, I, I knew I would have came right back. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Karina, yeah, Roots. Uh, All right, I'm gonna here. start do doing stuff. I got, oh, perfect, okay. All right, I'm gonna go start doing stuff. Why am I going to jail? Let's go. No more fighting, let's go. You'll get out. You'll get out I, today if you don't fight. You're gonna get so, more charges if you don't fight. The faster you this. get there, the faster you'll you get out. As soon as you get yep. out, yep. get up. We're you're, gonna put them in the front. But yep, you gotta stand gonna up. Those. We're gonna take those off and put them in the front. All right. Yep. Right this off. Right up there. No. Please. We're gonna put them in the front. All right. What's your first name? What's your name? Karina. Karina. I think. We're gonna put them in the front. <laughs> Karina, the suspect, faced charges including assault on a law enforcement officer. However, she later pleaded guilty to lesser charges, disorderly conduct, resisting an officer without violence, and trespassing. Her sentence included time already served and a fine. All right, scoot in. Okay. Or whatever. Or, hey, you're going to hit by the door. Or you can just do that. Oh, my God. <laughs> On January 23rd, 2023, a 100 miles per hour police chase of a stolen red Kia took place. The footage begins with police officers ordering the driver and passenger to keep their hands visible. The driver was terrified, unable to offer a coherent account regarding the ownership of the automobile, stating it belonged to a buddy whose name she did not know. Both hands out of the vehicle where I can see them. Driver, step out of the vehicle, face away from me. Keep your hands where I can see them. Step out of the vehicle. With one hand, take off your seatbelt if that's what you're trying to do. At least one passenger. Step out of the vehicle, face away from me. Walk backwards slowly to the sound of my voice. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. You got someone that got hands? No? I'll go hands. Walk Walk no, I got hands because you got the rifle. You got the rifle. Keep walking back. Walk Keep back. walking back. I'll take me. Walk back. Step to your left. Face forward. Walk back. Walk back with me. Walk back with me. Is there anybody, anybody else in the car? Yes. How many people? Just one. Passenger, both arms out in the window. Both arms I'm out so in the window. Careful, please. Exit the vehicle and face away from me. Hey, get ready to. It's gonna bail. Face away from me. Step back here. Is there anything on you? Guns, weapons, drugs, anything? No. Weapon, we'll shoot you. Keep walking backwards right here. Just like that. Step to your right. One, one step. One step to your right. 
One step to your right. Yup. Keep walking backwards. Keep walking backwards. Now reach for anything. Keep walking backwards. Keep walking backwards. Walk backwards. Walk backwards. Who else is in the car? Occupants in the Kia. We know you're in there. Show your hands. Occupants in the Kia. Show your hands now. It's just a little temporary tag or whatever. There's a phone and they're on the line with somebody still. Are we just waiting to see if this is stolen? Throughout the interaction, the driver repeatedly claimed ignorance and fear, attributing her unusual behavior to anxiety and a lack of understanding of the legal consequences of her actions. Braxton, I'm going to read you these. You have the right to remain silent and you say you can't rule against you in a court of law. At this point in time, you're not under arrest. You're only being detained. I'm, I'm reading so you those sorry. as an advisement. I'm so scared. I've never been pulled over really before ever. I have a clean record. And then the tire popped and I was so scared because I don't do good with cops. I get anxiety. And I should have just, just pulled over, but I was nervous and I was scared, you know. And I don't even have shoes on. What'd you say about why you ran away? I was scared, sir. Scared of what? I, I get really anxious. Anxious? That's why you drive like 90 miles an hour? That doesn't really add up. No. Nope. Anxious people don't so just the, take the off cars, and... The car's not mine, is it? It's not legal and I was scared. Whose car is it? Uh, it's, it's one of my friends. Who's your friend? Uh, I don't know her name like that. You don't know your friend's name, but you have their car? No, I, that, I mean, that I doesn't know, sound legit, I know right? her name, but I don't know her last name. Well, what's her name? Her, her first name is Jessica. She was on the phone um, with them when you guys pulled us over, and she, I think she should be coming here. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, look, I got, I don't do anything like this, you know, like, I have a clean record, I've never really... But you just did this, so why are you telling me you don't do this when you just did this? Because I don't know, I don't know, I was scared. Your story does not make sense at all. Scared people don't drive 100 miles an hour away from the cops. I don't have any reason to, to not, you know, like... Okay. You can read my rights, I'm going to jail. So basically what I'm doing, you're detained right now. I'm going to read your rights before I ask you any further questions. How does that sound? Right? Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you can say, you say can be used against you in the court of law. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to us now? So, it's a yes or no first. Just about this, the reason why we stopped you. So are you willing to talk to us about this? Sure. Okay. Whose car is this? It's a friend of ours. What's your friend's name? Jessica. Jessica? Jessica what? I don't know. Okay. When did you get this car from Jessica? Today. Today? What time today? It's like an hour before we got pulled over. So nine o'clock this evening? Yes. Okay. And she gave you the keys with it? Yeah, she's in. Okay. Right. And how long have you been knowing Jessica? For a while. For a while? Okay. And then how do you know the driver? It's my friend's daughter. It's your my, friend's daughter? My dead friend's daughter. Okay. And how long have you guys been together today? About an hour. Did she get the car or did you get the car? I'm not driving. Okay. Where did you guys pick the car up from? Why is it stolen? As far as I know, it's not stolen. Hmm? As far as I know, it's not stolen. I'm just, I'm just trying to get the story. I know, I, do, I know. Uh, my that's record, all it is. My record says I steal cars, you know, that's why. No, that has nothing to do with that. I'm just trying to figure out how you guys got this car tonight and where you guys got it from. That, that's, that's, that's not, that's not what I asked you though, man. I, I just asked you how long you were with her with when she picked you up. I was with her for an hour. And she picked you up here in Federal Way somewhere. No. No. Where did she pick you up at? Here in Tacoma. Tacoma. Okay. So, Brax, I'm going to be straight with you right now. Yes, sir. Your story that you're feeding us? Yes, sir. On the long she appeared scared and kept talking about not wanting to go to jail. The, the car's not legal. And, and Why I'm, isn't it legal? What's not legal about it? I, I don't. Look, it's not my car. I just have, I'm the only one with the license. You keep saying it's not legal. Like, what what about it? Is, what about the car's not legal? I don't think it has tabs. I don't think it's in. Okay, not having it. tabs, that's, that's a very, very small issue. And I don't think it's in her name. I'm not 100% sure, and, and, and in all honesty, I was worried about 
a friend that I was driving. Why were you worried about a friend? I just don't know him like that. I just, I got nervous, you know? Was he saying something to you that was no, no, no. encouraging? I, no, no, no. I should have just been smarter, you know? And I should have just pulled over and gave you guys my license instead of running because I've never done anything like this in my whole entire life. Well, there's obviously some something going on here, right? This story doesn't add up. People don't run from the police for nothing. Just, You're saying the car is not legal. What's, I don't know what that means, right? You said you want to talk to police? No, um, I don't, I don't know. What did you answer when he says, uh, having these rights of mind, do you wish to talk to us now? Did you say yes or no? Um, I didn't answer no. She's not under arrest. She's only detained. I read him as an advisor. Yeah, he read, he read my rights. All right, where's the key fob to the car? Um, I'm, it's in the car. So in the car? My shoes are in my phone. They're also in the car. When did Jessica give you the car? Um, when we left the house. I, I live with her. You live with her? Yes. So she's your roommate? You don't know her last name? Um, no, sir. I, she's actually my uncle's friend. Um, I'm going through something right now, so she's letting me stay there. I just started staying with her last night. The only reason I was driving her because I was the only one with the license. Okay, where were you driving to? Um, I was going to see my uncle. Alright, so she was like, here you go, take my car, just go drive it? No, she was with somebody else. And they were supposed to meet us there. They went to go do something so else. So whose car is she in? Um the person she's with. How come she didn't drive her car? Well, I, I assume the other person's driving their car. <laughs> well, then why wouldn't she drive her own car? Most, well, people, most people, if they're going to the same place, well, they we, drive their they own car. They were doing something else first, and then we were dropping someone else for, off also, so we were just going to meet back at my uncle's house. Okay. And I'm, I just because your uncle's friend? Yes, sir. Okay. What happened to your eye? Um, I got punched. <laughs> Bye. Um, I got in, in a fight with a girl. With? <laughs> with a girl. Oh. It was just a fist fight. Um, it was one of my friends. Not really my friend anymore, but... And then I, I kind of panicked, you know, when the tire popped. It's kind of stupid. Um, like, really, well, the, really the tire, fucking stupid. Do you know why the tire popped? Um, uh, it's not my car. I have no idea. Because we spiked it, because you ran. Well, that spiked makes sense. Road, yeah. It makes sense. <laughs> If somehow this crazy story it turns out to all be on the straight and narrow, yes, sir. that was a really, really bad yeah. decision. Yeah, I realized that. I don't know why I didn't pull over. Um, and I do apologize. I don't, I don't know what else to say, you know? Okay. Well, you're just going to hang tight here with us for now while we figure everything out. Okay. You're under arrest. Reckless driving and failure to obey an officer. I'm gonna have you step out. We're gonna do a quick search, make sure you don't have anything on you, and then we're gonna put you back in, okay? Okay, my foot's messed up, so. Your foot? Which foot? This one. How is it messed up? What's I, wrong with it? I have a gash on the top of it. Alright, hang tight. I'm gonna look at it. Yeah, please, please, please be careful. Alright. <laughs> Okay, so you gotta... The driver identified as Braxton was taken into custody and read her rights. Okay, come out. Come out. At the jail, I mean, not the hospital. Make sure you don't have anything on you. Look, with the back of my hand, I'm gonna go through here, make sure you okay. don't have any weapons tucked or anything like that. Okay. Nothing in your pockets. Back of my hand, I'm gonna check your back pockets, okay? okay? Same thing on this side, back of the hand. Okay. And then also back of the hand here. Do you have a necklace on? No, sir. No necklaces? I do have earrings on. Okay, earrings is fine. Just want to make sure to have a necklace. It's okay. Now, let's see. This on. I'll give you some shoes when you get there, okay? Don't worry, you're not going to be there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get my shit out of the car. No phone, no nothing. Fortunately, since it's getting thrown away, you can't, but you can contact them to get it out there. They're not going to take anything out of there. Right hand on top of your head. Braxton faces charges of failure to comply with an officer and reckless driving. We're good to go. She's going to jail. Yep. For, for failure to obey an officer and reckless driving. How do you feel about today's circumstances? Please kindly share your opinions with us so that we may all further evaluate them.